because I was asked, what are some differences between being in a band in France compared to being in a band in the States? So I've been playing music, piano, and I sing for many years, but for the last decade, I've been in probably about six or seven bands now, and some of them have been in the States and some of them have been in France. So I'm gonna compare and dive into some differences. The first thing I've noticed, I've talked about this in the last couple of videos I've done, is the vacation time. As I mentioned, the French get so much vacation time compared to in the United States. And often in the summer, they'll take three weeks, a month off. So this past week was the first week after a month that then the entire band I'm currently in regrouped and we were able to play together because everybody was on vacation for like three weeks at a time. So that is one major difference. Another thing is uh, in this France, you can get government grants to help fund certain things. For instance, um, some equipment, some lighting, like some amps or even musical instruments. So that is crazy in itself, but you can apply for government grants. So that is just like something I don't think exists in the States. Correct me if I'm wrong. Something else that the government does is that they will often uh, help you get into gigs. So the mayor may have an event and contact you for a certain event in a village nearby. But I would say it is pretty similar in France and the United States where you can get your own gigs in restaurants and in bars and at different events as well. And a lot of them in France are gonna be a little bit less typical. It may be for an event in a village that's very festive. You might have seen the video on different festivities in the summer in France and whatnot. So it could be something like that versus just going out and playing in, in for, you know, a gig. Another thing is that I feel like musicians here are less starving, so to speak, meaning they're more selective in the gigs they want to play. And I find that so refreshing, but they might be like, hey, it's not worth it. It's not even a question about money, but it's just not worth it for us. So that is kind of cool. Um, another thing that I've noticed is that the ego is so significantly different, meaning I feel like musicians in France are a lot more humble. I have some professional musician friends who do this for a living and they are so incredibly humble. And in the States, I did not quite find that same humility. Again, I'm generalizing. I know that that's not every musician. That's not at all what I'm saying. Don't get me wrong. Uh, however, I will say that it's just kind of like the same concept of the French will say, oh, I don't speak any English. And then they start speaking. You're like, dude, you speak better English than some English speakers do. <laughs> so they have that humility and the same with music. Yeah, I can je gratte un petit peu. You know, but then they're like, you're really amazing. So that's a thing that is also pretty cool. Uh, another thing that I found refreshing, should I say, is that bands often will discuss things. So if something doesn't go right in a band, like a band member's always late, or a solo lasts on for way too long. Guitarist, you know, I'm aiming you. <laughs> I'm just joking because I love guitars so much. Uh, and there's an issue, they'll talk about it and they'll like bring it out in the open. And in California, at least, with different bands that I was in, it was always this like hush hush. If somebody, if they wanted to get somebody out of a band, they would kind of discuss it, but not discuss it directly to the person they wanted to kick out and address the issue. So I found that kind of like, whoa, that's kind of, you know, shitty, sorry for the word, but part of my French, should I say. Uh, anywho, so that's something that's pretty nice. Otherwise, I would say some similarities is having a weekly band practice, finding musician groups. There's different um, ways that you can find musicians or connect with musicians. That's kind of similar. Both countries have so many cool different music events and I can appreciate both of them so much. In France, one thing I like is, as I mentioned in another video that you can watch, on the 21st of June is the National Fête de la Musique, so the musical festival, and that is so cool. But there's so many regional and local events that are so specific, and you'll see some pretty cool bands. Now, a question I was asked was, well, what language do people sing in? So in France, I would say it is extremely diverse, and that's something that I actually did in one of the bands I was in in the States, is we played and sang in uh, English and French and in Italian. In France, what I've noticed is that depending on, again, the type of music. If it's like a French traditional music, like Edith Jeff style, it's, being, it's going to be in French. But the average band, if I can put it that way, or rock band, like a, I mean rock band, would predominantly be in English. And then there's gonna be some songs in French and possibly some, you know, other languages such as Spanish or Italian. So very interesting. Comment below anything you'd wanna know about music in France or other cultural things you'd like to know. I'll see you soon.